a silent yo yo a all on a high in g eight worry d f l a g's that q u l d poing t t o f a t t y l i v r d i s e e a c fatty liver is characterized by the abnormal accumulation of fat within liver cells specifically hepatocytes and this condition is known as hepatic stetosis hepatocytes are the principal functional cells of the liver they are responsible for carrying out metabolic, synthetic, detoxification, and storage functions that are essential for maintaining the body's overall health and homeostasis. The accumulation of excess fat in these cells can interfere with its normal function and may lead to various health issues like cardiovascular issues, metabolic syndrome, hypertension, and osteoporosis. The fact of highest concern is that fatty liver is often asymptomatic in its early stages which can lead individuals to underestimate its significance. And ultimately, it can progress to more severe and potentially life-threatening conditions. Stages of fatty liver. Liver damage due to fatty liver typically progresses through several stages, ranging from mild fat accumulation to more severe inflammation and fibrosis. In the initial stage, excess fat accumulates within liver cells. This is the mildest form of liver damage and generally show no symptoms. According to an estimate, fatty liver disease is the most common liver disorder in the world, affecting an estimated 25% of the global population. But it is reversible with lifestyle changes, such as weight loss and dietary modifications. It is followed by steatohepatitis. Steatohepatitis caused by alcohol overconsumption is known as alcoholic steatohepatitis. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis is caused by other factors like obesity type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and diets high in sugar and unhealthy fats. According to research, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis accounts for approximately 80 to 90 percent of all cases of fatty liver disease, while alcoholic steatohepatitis accounts for the remaining 10 to 20 percent. Around 70 to 90 percent of individuals with severe obesity have non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. So, if you have a BMI touching 35, it is high time that you consider reducing your weight. Steatohepatitis is an advanced stage of liver damage. In addition to fat accumulation, it involves liver inflammation and injury. If untreated, it can lead to more severe problems. If steatohepatitis or other forms of liver inflammation persist, the liver may develop fibrosis. Fibrosis is the formation of scar tissue in response to ongoing liver damage. It is a significant concern as it can progress to cirrhosis. Cirrhosis is the advanced stage of liver damage characterized by extensive and irreversible scarring of the liver tissue. According to research, 20 to 25% patients of steatohepatitis develop cirrhosis. At this stage, liver function is significantly impaired, leading to various complications, including portal hypertension, esophageal varices, liver failure, and an increased risk of liver cancer. Let's discuss some reasons that may cause fatty liver at first place. Excess body weight, especially abdominal obesity, is the most significant cause for fatty liver. The accumulation of adipose tissue can lead to an increased delivery of fatty acids to the liver. Metabolic syndrome is a cluster of conditions, including obesity, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, and abnormal lipid profiles all of which increase the risk of fatty liver. People with obesity and metabolic syndrome are prone to type 2 diabetes that can lead to increased fat accumulation in the liver. Certain medications, such as corticosteroids, tamoxifen, and some antiretroviral drugs, may also cause or exacerbate fatty liver as part of their side effects. Dietary factors can play a crucial role in the development of fatty liver. Consumption of saturated and trans fats is associated with an increased risk of fat accumulation in the liver. Fructose consumption is the most significant cause of accumulation of excess fats in liver. Its most common form is high fructose corn syrup, which is used in fast food, processed food, soft drinks, and other products as artificially added sweetener. Excessive alcohol consumption and severe malnutrition can also lead to a fatty liver. Although liver damage may not show any symptoms in initial stages, but it may be identified via lab tests, you just need to keep an eye on a few symptoms that will help you detect possible existence of this issue. 
Let's highlight some of the significant ones. 1. Upper abdominal discomfort. The most significant sign of fatty liver is discomfort or pain in the upper right side of the abdomen, where the liver is located. This is due to the possible inflammation and enlargement of liver. Liver produces bile, a digestive liquid that is required to break down fats consumed in foods like meat and oil. With deposits of fats in liver cells, it becomes difficult for bile to pass through liver, causing inflammation. Due to inflammation, liver capsule, the thin membrane around liver expands. Expansion of liver and liver capsule causes a sensation of fullness and discomfort in the upper abdomen area. 2. Unexplained weight loss. Weight loss can occur in individuals with fatty liver disease, and it is often seen in cases of more advanced fatty liver disease. Liver dysfunction can affect the production of bile, which is necessary for the absorption of dietary fats. Malabsorption of fats and fat-soluble vitamins can lead to reduced nutrient intake. This can lead to nutrient deficiencies, including protein and various vitamins and minerals, which can contribute to weight loss. Metabolic disturbances and insulin resistance can influence the body's energy balance and lead to weight loss. In cases of cirrhosis, fluid buildup in the abdominal cavity, known as ascites, can result in weight loss as the body loses protein and nutrients through the acidic fluid. ALT is often considered a specific marker of liver cell injury and is typically more elevated in the context of fatty liver disease. 3. Itchy skin. Itchy skin is a distressing symptom in fatty liver disease, primarily caused by the buildup of bile salts and toxins in the bloodstream. The liver, in a healthy state, plays a crucial role in metabolizing and excreting waste products, including bilirubin and bile salts. However, in fatty liver, liver function is compromised, leading to impaired bilirubin and bile salt processing. As a result, these substances accumulate in the bloodstream and deposit in the skin, causing itching. The itching is often more pronounced in areas with thinner skin, like the forearms. 4. Abdominal swelling or ascites. Ascites is the accumulation of fluid within the abdominal cavity and is a common complication of fatty liver disease. As the liver's functionality deteriorates, it becomes less efficient at maintaining proper fluid balance in the body. Additionally, fats accumulated in liver can lead to increased pressure in the portal vein, which carries blood to the liver. This elevated pressure forces fluid out of blood vessels and into the abdominal cavity, resulting in ascites. 5. Shortness of breath and fatigue. Ascites can lead to shortness of breath by exerting pressure on the diaphragm and restricting its ability to expand during breathing. The accumulated fluid in the abdominal cavity pushes against the diaphragm, reducing lung capacity and causing the sensation of breathlessness. This can be particularly distressing for individuals with fatty liver disease, making it challenging to breathe comfortably. Fatigue is a common symptom experienced by individuals with shortness of breath. Malabsorption of nutrients decrease antioxidants and toxins start to retain in your body due to which you may feel muscle weakness, tiredness, and low energy any time of the day after only a little or no exertion. 6. Peripheral edema. Swelling in the legs, ankles, and feet, known as peripheral edema, is another consequence of fatty liver-related fluid retention. When the liver's ability to synthesize proteins like albumin is impaired, the oncotic pressure in the bloodstream decreases, causing fluid to leak into the surrounding tissues. This results in swelling especially in the right leg or right foot. 7. Spider-like blood vessels. Spider angiomas are small, spider-like blood vessels often found on the skin, especially on the upper body, face, and neck. They are a characteristic feature of this disease and result from the expansion of small blood vessels due to changes in blood flow patterns caused by liver dysfunction. These angiomas typically fade when pressure is applied to their center and are a visible indicator of vascular changes in the skin associated with fatty liver disease. 8. Jaundice Jaundice is a common and easily recognizable sign of liver dysfunction. It occurs due to the buildup of bilirubin, a yellow pigment, in the body. The liver normally processes bilirubin and excretes it in bile. However, in cirrhosis, the damaged liver is less effective at metabolizing and excreting bilirubin. As a result, bilirubin accumulates in the bloodstream, 
causing yellowing of the skin, eyes, and mucous membranes. This symptom is called jaundice. Jaundice is a key indicator of liver dysfunction and is often one of the first signs of liver disease, signaling the need for medical evaluation and intervention. These symptoms may indicate possible liver dysfunction, but you can always go for other methods. Blood tests often reveal elevated liver enzymes, such as ALT, alanine aminotransferse, and AST, aspartate aminotransferse, which indicate liver inflammation and damage. A liver biopsy is considered the gold standard for diagnosing fatty liver and evaluating the degree of liver damage. It involves the removal of a small sample of liver tissue for microscopic examination. Thanks to nature, liver has a remarkable ability to regenerate and heal itself, even after experiencing damage. The ability of the liver to heal and regenerate underscores the importance of early intervention and lifestyle modifications in managing liver diseases. We have suggested some useful modifications for your routine. With the addition of these modifications, you can enhance the liver's regenerative capabilities and prevent or delay the progression of liver disease. Lifestyle Modifications 1. Exercise Engage in regular exercise, aiming for at least 150 minutes of moderate-intensity aerobic activity per week. Incorporate brisk walking, swimming, or cycling into your routine. Increased physical activity will help in weight management that will ultimately prevent damage to liver because high cholesterol and blood pressure emerge from obesity. 2. Avoid heavy meals. Large, heavy meals can place extra stress on the liver. For those with compromised liver function, eating smaller, more frequent meals throughout the day can be beneficial. This approach can help maintain steady blood sugar levels and reduce the burden on the liver. 3. Subtracting sugar. Stop taking soft drinks, baked items, fast food and candy, as these are full of liver-damaging fructose. Instead, delight your taste buds with healthy snacks like sunflower seeds, nuts, fresh eggs, and lean meats. Diets high in refined carbohydrates like white bread can lead to elevated blood sugar levels, which can contribute to fatty liver. Use whole grain like wheat, rice, and oats. All these nutrients contain selenium, that helps protect liver cells from oxidative damage. 4. Reducing trans fats consumption. Reduce consumption of trans fats or hydrogenated oils like vegetable oil. They are associated with a higher risk of liver damage. Instead, use extra virgin olive, sesame, or coconut oils. Monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats in these oils can improve insulin sensitivity and glycemic control. They aid in the absorption of fat soluble vitamins. A, D, E, and K, and other nutrients. These healthy fats support overall health and ensure that the liver receives the necessary nutrients to function optimally. 5. Abstaining from alcohol. The first and only way to prevent liver damage in alcoholic fatty liver disease is the cessation and abstinence of alcohol consumption. Staying well hydrated is important for liver health. Increasing water and fluids intake between meals will prevent dehydration and promote detoxification. 6. Use of natural detoxifiers. However, milk thistle is one of the most renowned herbs for liver health. It contains a compound called silymarin, which has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Silymarin may help protect liver cells and promote regeneration. In addition to that, Dandelion root and artichoke leaf has been used for centuries in traditional medicine for its potential liver protective properties, including bile production stimulation, antioxidant, and anti-inflammatory. That's all for today. Remember, we are not healthcare specialists. If you have any kind of liver issues or specific dietary restrictions, consult a doctor, healthcare provider, or registered dietitian. If you like this video, must support us by giving a thumbs up and subscribe our channel.